Good morning, everybody. Here, Julian Gambo again with the defensive coordinator, Coach D'Onofrio. How you doing, Coach? Perfect pronunciation. Awesome. You're doing great. It's great to be here uh, talking to all the Canes fans out there. Comment from you, Monster. Coach, you clearly, you clearly have the ability and fire to maintain the success here. What do you feel is the key, recruiting? Absolutely. Uh, it's recruiting and then development, and I know I've spoken a lot about that, but really it's, re it's recruiting the players that fit your system, not everybody else's, and then uh, the development on a daily basis of, of getting those guys to uh, exceed their own expectations. Comment from the UKs. What will be the strength of the defense next year? I think right now, uh, you know, our, our strength lies in, in the front seven, uh, you know, from a, a starting area. We've got a lot of guys returning uh, to the front four. And then, uh, you know, Spence and Buchanan, that linebacker, who are two really good players. Uh, we have a lot of depth at safety. Uh, so we'll need to continue to get depth at linebacker. And, and then the corner position will be an area that we'll need to uh, you know, work hard on this spring. Comment from CJ, how do you keep your team in such good shape to play the style that you do? Yeah, I think I think you you work it in the practice. That's a great question, but really we, we demand it in practice every day. We demand that all eleven guys run to the football, um, and if they don't, there's a consequence. And I think it's like anything else in life, you know, uh, as long as they know that they have to they have to do it, and they have to produce. Um, it's something that's trained, and, and we become it becomes a mindset that we're going to be better conditioned than the opponent, and we're going to we're going to all finish at the football. Comment from Ibis, coach. What is your usual run through with the team during practice? Um, during practice, uh, you know, basically we'll, we'll have uh, individual periods. We'll have tackling circuits. We'll have uh, ball disruption, turnover circuits. Uh, you know that we do early. Those are areas that we stress. Um, you know, and then work into individual periods, and then and then and go to team periods at that point. Comment from JB, Coach D. Have there been any players that have already started standing out to you as a leader on your side of the ball? Yeah, I think th I think there's been a number. Um, you know, I think I think Buck is. Uh, has done a good job, Ramon Buchanan and, and, uh, and Sean Spence. I think those guys have uh, have stepped up. Um, I think Wally Jomo. I think he's with his work ethic and, and he's been leading by example in that regard. So those are a few that stand out. JoJo Nicholas is a guy who's, who stood out to as well. Comment from Ray's Kane, Coach D. How are your players adjusting to the three-four versus four-three defense? Well, I'm not really sure that we're playing the three-four, but no. Uh, uh, to answer that question, we're, we're, we're going to be 4-3 base, so uh, we will have uh, some more uh, fronts available to us. We'll have some, some different coverages and pressures that, that, that they did previously here, so uh, we'll be multiple in that regard, but uh, we, we will base that with you know, the 4-3 defense, so I think the guys will, will adjust fine. Um, you know, really, we've only been back around a week and a half after, since signing, so uh, spring, with spring ball around the corner, we'll start to really uh, get home, honed in, and we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, Come March 5th. Comment from Gables. Do you have any specific goals for the defense? Yeah, I think uh, you know right off the bat. I think the things that that we want to fix is what we talked about earlier, is it, and that's and that's playing at a high level and finishing. You know, and, that, and that's it. And we'll we'll set the bar high as far as uh, how hard we want to play. Uh, I think we want to eliminate penalties. Um, this spring we we're 112th in the country uh, last year, and and, uh, and I think we want to tackle better. And those are those are my first three immediate goals that are. Uh, that are fundamentals, and then we'll, we'll start to talk about you know the, the tangible ones like you know stopping the run and, and red zone defense and third down defense and takeaways and those sorts of things. But I think right off the bat we want to play hard, we want to tackle well, and we and we don't want to beat ourselves. Comment from Kane and Ne: How fast do you think these players can adjust to the new schemes, and do you think the transition will be smooth to the field to where you, to where we see the results? I do. I think I think they'll they'll be able to transition because we'll push them, and I think and I think there's a lot of players on this team that want to be great, um, and they've they've embraced the, the change, and I think they're excited about it, and I, and I think we'll we'll continue to push the bar and, and raise the bar higher, and I think they'll they'll exceed it. Comment from the UK: Who was faster in college, you or Coach Golden? Not even close. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying Coach Nett is not that athletic? I, 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 didn't, I didn't say that, Coach. <laughs> Coach was very he, – his, he was better at his skill set than, uh, than uh, you know, I couldn't play tight end, but, uh, but he couldn't play linebacker, so we'll leave it at that. Comment from Halo Kane X. How important is blitzing in your defensive philosophy? Yeah, I mean, you, you definitely – you have to pressure. Um, I think everybody wants to talk about defense, and they say, oh, you know, you got to blitz, you got to blitz, and all that stuff. But at the same time, uh, 
you have to pick your spots. You can't leave yourself exposed exposed all the time, both both in the run and pass game. But but certainly, uh, you have to create pressure and you have to throw the offense uh, off track. You know, so that uh, you know the numbers are in your favor. So I try to tell my teammates when we play NCAA football, but they just want to blitz every play. Can't blitz every play. You can't do that. <laughs> Comment from Scott Clark. Coach D, I have read about your intensity. How do you plan on getting our guys' intensity up to a high level when on the field? I think, you know, I think not only mine, but I think it, it stems from, you know, Al's an intense guy, and when we, we take that field, it's it's all about business, and we try to have fun, and we try to have passion, and I think I think our staff, our whole staff will, will you know, the players will see that, and I think, uh, basically, I think they'll raise the bar from that point on. Comment from Texas Canes. Coach D, do you see lots of talent on this team to contend for the ACC title this year? Certainly, we we are, we are a talented team. I think what we need to do is create depth. We need we have guys who have talent who haven't played, and we have to get them ready to play. So, uh, the quicker everybody buys in, and the more depth we can build, um, you know, give us a chance to contend for that title right away. Comment from Kane at work: Who do you believe can be a standout player this season? Uh, well, if, if you talk about some of the guys that have been here, obviously, uh, you know, I, I like the way Marcus Forston finished, uh, you know, his season. He really played well in the Notre Dame game. I'm looking for, uh, for a big year from him. You know, Spence is a guy who, when I watched tape, really stood out. Um, you know, Buchanan's a guy who's really athletic and has a, has a great skill set. Uh, so those are guys I'm excited about. I'm looking forward to Brandon McGee, uh, you know, stepping up. I think he's very talented. Um, I was excited about the safeties, uh, you, know, you know, Ray and Vaughn and, and, uh, and JoJo played safety for us we'll probably look at him at corner some as well so um, you know and again there's a there's a lot of young guys right now where I see talent and, and uh, you know I want them all to stand out comment from KL Kane what is your favorite part of the job and what's your least favorite part hmm. favorite part of the job I think is just uh, you know building the relationship you know with the players I and mean, that's why we coach college football um, you know I know I don't really I always say I want to coach pros uh, but I want to coach them before they before they go, I want to coach them while they're in college, you know, because uh, I don't think you get at that level. I don't think you get to build uh, the relationship. You get to recruit a kid, you know, have them develop both as a player and a person, and, and you know, and see the finished product at the end. I enjoy that part of it. Comment from as far as what I don't enjoy, I enjoy the whole thing. There's nothing that I don't enjoy about the job. So, <laughs> comment from CW: What have you learned about your returning players based on watching tape? Um, I, I spoke, you know, earlier about some of them, but I, you know, I've. I've learned that we, again that we do have talent. I think, um, I, I think we need to play harder, you know, and that's that's what I see on tape. I need to I need to see a little more passion, uh, you know, for the full year. You know, there were some games where they were up, and there were some games where they were down. And I think we have to strive for consistency right now, um, you know, and, and be and be up every game and, and play hard every game. Comment from Kane's fan too. What's the funniest Al Golden story you have from when you played in college together? Funniest Al Golden story, oh man, that I can say on tape. Um, no, uh, you know, Al and I, uh, just thinking back at practice, you know, one year I played outside linebacker, and, uh, and he played tight end, and, and so we played over one another, and, and we, we had a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, drills, and generally both of us jumped off sides about 100 times each because we were trying to, you know, jump and get the better of one another because we were friendly and we were competitive. So. That was just the one thing that stood out when I thought about the, you know, the playing field. It's just uh, you know, both of us being competitive with one another. Comment from Bob. Coach, what young player or players do you see stepping up the most this season? Well, you know, we're going to have to step up at linebacker, and we're going to have to step up at corner. I think you know, that's, that's, those are the areas. So uh, I think there's, you know, there's a, look, a group of those guys at linebacker, you know, uh, Kelvin Kane and, and uh, Jimmy Gaines. And, Tyrone Cornelius, those are guys who, who played backup roles last year, played some special teams, and uh, played sparingly. Uh, you know, there'll be others, and then and then we did sign four guys as well. So uh, adding those guys to the mix, I think it's really important that we we do really well there. And then uh, you know, at corner, um, you know, the development of, of Keon Payne and, and uh, you know uh, Casey Rogers at DB, and now Thomas Finney, who's here now. Um, you know, we'll continue to look for, look for those guys to really step up. Comment from I know I can. What are your thoughts on Fish and having to play against him in the spring game and scrimmages? Does he make you nervous? <laughs> no, I coach Fish. Obviously, uh, he's got a great reputation and he's done a great job uh, to put himself uh, you know, here at Miami as well. So, 
I look forward to working with them. Uh, anytime you can work with a great offensive coordinator, it makes you better as a defensive coordinator. You uh, you learn to defend more problems, and uh, you know again just gets you prepared to call the games you have to call during the year. So it'll be a good competition. Comment from Vince: What sort of attitude will this defense have? I hope I hope it's an attitude that uh, you know at the end of the day we don't want people to score and that we're going to be mad when they do. I mean, uh, defensive football is about keeping the points down. Uh, it's about being physical. It's about intimidating. Um, it's about finishing at the pile. So uh, that's how I, that's how we want it to look. Comment from Scott. Coach, what worked at Temple that you feel best translates to this Miami team? I think just those things that we just talked about. I think uh, in the end of the day, we got a bunch of guys that uh, that bought into what we were, were teaching, and um, you know they they prepared hard, uh, they played hard, they practiced hard. You know they they, they spent time uh, in the off season making sure that they were better conditioned than the opponents. So I think all of those things, I think we'll just try to duplicate. I mean, uh, again, at the end of the day, kids want they want discipline, they want guidance, they want to be coached, they want to be. You know, directed and told what to do. We, we'd like to take them from being directed to to being empowered. You know, and, and, and owning it. And I think that's what we were able to do. We got guys to believe in what we were doing, um, and the results. You know, the results are there. We got one last question for Coach D. Comment from Vince. What are you looking for in the recruits on defense? Well, I'm, again, I'm look I'm looking to to build the type of depth that the University of Miami should have. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, we played basically three linebackers last year, and that's and that's not going to do it. We want to be able to, you know, travel seven linebackers. They all should have roles on special teams, and, and, and we should be able to put five or six of them in the game. You know, same thing on the D line. Uh, you know, being able to roll eight guys, uh, and in the secondary. So, um, I th I'm looking for those guys to to supply depth, and in some areas, some of those guys can you know will compete for jobs as well.